Now, let us find the solution for the problem number 28, chapter number 5 and exercise 5.1. Yeah, the question given is that sin theta is equal to a by b and he asked us to find secant theta plus tan theta in terms of a and b. Therefore, let us not only give an information that sin theta is given as a by b. He asked us to find the value of secant theta plus tan theta in terms of a b. That is equal to, we know that secant theta is nothing but 1 by cos theta plus tan theta is nothing but sin theta by cos theta. Therefore, this will be equal to 1 plus sin theta divided by cos theta. We already have the value sin theta. What we need to find is here cos theta value. So in order to find that, let us consider the given trigonometric ratio that is sin theta is equal to a by b. We know that if theta is one of the included angle in right angle triangle, then sin theta is nothing but the opposite side by hypotenuse. Therefore, if we consider a right angle triangle here as shown and theta is included angle, we can say that opposite side will be in the simple ratio a and the hypotenuse will be b. Now, we need to find the cos theta. We know that cos theta is nothing but adjacent side by hypotenuse. Here we need to find the value of adjacent. As the triangle is right angle triangle, the adjacent side will be equal to square of hypotenuse minus square of side whole power 1 by 2, which is nothing but root of b square minus a square. Therefore here the adjacent side will be b square minus a square divided by hypotenuse is nothing but b. Let us substitute in the secant theta plus tan theta value that is equal to 1 plus sin theta that is a by b whole divided by cos theta is nothing but root of b square minus a square whole divided by b which is equal to if we take LCM B in the numerator we get A plus B by B divided by square root of B square minus A square by B that is equal to A plus B by square root of B square minus A square is the solution.